What's up guys, it's Ramon from 9block Gaming and Collectibles coming at you with another review. Today I have the DL Customs Volume 2 Sanctions of Justice. This is the Pink Pearlescent Custom Head Sculpt. This is our box, just says DL Customs. You can see I already opened it to check. We got a caution at the bottom. The Instagrams you can follow for his customs, which is right there. And uh, I'll just open it up quick. No reason to open it up off video. I already have it opened. This is what it comes with. Great, absolutely great looking accessory. We'll go over the face sculpts. You have one smirking sideways, one yelling, one with the evil grin, um, another side smirk. And then a serious looking sideways face. You get your kitten mitten. You get your uh, keyblade. Sorry for the cutout. And then you get your two hands to make the effect that is right here. So I'll open this guy up. Head sculpts look absolutely great. Pearlescent finish really touches it off. So you get two. And along with this, you get your grin and your serious. Along with another bang piece. So you can essentially make two customs out of this one head sculpt by just using, you know, these and then. Pretty sure this bang just replaces this one. From the looks of it, it's not a Super Saiyan 2. Uh, this does not replace this. Odd. The bang setup is slightly different. You can see the pegs are smaller on one, larger on the other. Does not work with that head sculpt only works with this is there any difference whatsoever with these bangs none that I can see not sure if that was an error in the packaging and they just packed up the same bang piece but that's what I got. It doesn't seem to fit this one either. Not sure what's going on. It does. And to me, it looks 100% identical. Oh no, it's spread out just slightly compared to the other. Very flexible plastic that makes it somewhat difficult to uh, put in. So here's our first release Goku Black. Actually, I think this is the DF. It just so happens that the peg does not fit. Gonna have to use an official or change the head peg out. But either way, it looks great. Just a loose peg. <clears throat> Not sure if the hands will swap. I think that peg might be the same. Let's check it out quick. Just to see if it will. Yes, those actually work. So here's your keyblade accessory. That's what it looks like on the figure. Let's 
So the hands will work, the head will not. Um, I'm sure AFFM Customs will have a peg that we can use for this guy. If not, a suggestion in making one, we'll probably get it done. So this effect plugs into the hand like so, goes all the way in, let's make sure I don't. You can see it goes over the hand entirely. Then we want to get this hand. Plug it in, like so. And it does not really want to stay. There we are. back on this guy so the choice of pink you can see with the lighting is a little odd because it does it, it looks a lot more red tinted in camera but it definitely is um, tinted red when lighting hits it when lighting isn't hitting it it is pretty pink which is odd but Those are those effects. Then one last thing, when he tries to pull his key blade out after he's caught, the Kai turns it into a kitten mitten. This does not want to fit the peg. There we go. So he's about to pull his keyblade out. He looks over. And what the hell is that? It's a kitten man. Pretty cool. Um, include it. effect um quickly go over these face sculpts smirking looking sideways this yelling looks absolutely fantastic that's evil grin goku black evil grin looks great that smirk looks awesome And last but not least, that sideways, the Patara earring looks great as well. <clears throat> all in all, this is an absolute must-buy um, for any Goku Black fan. Um, even if you're not a Goku Black fan and you're just a Dragon Ball fan, this accessory really brings to life um, Goku Black. The, the head sculpts add a lot of detail that we don't get from the originals um, and they just with the effects and the multiple different face sculpts that we get they, they do look absolutely great and I would absolutely suggest picking one of these up um, wherever you can find it because there's a lot of people looking right now and uh, they keep on selling out quickly so if you do 
find one, pick it up. If you see it secondhand, grab it. Um, cause I don't think DL customs, uh, is going to do a second run of these. He did it with the Gohan head sculpts. Um, I think just beast, uh, because of the demand for that, maybe he'll do this because there's a lot of people, um, I see in Facebook groups, ISOing this and, uh, yeah, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get a second run. Um, I got both the pearlescent and the mat. I just have no idea where the mat is, or I would make this video side by side. I have boxes of figures everywhere. So if I ever do find that, I might pull it back out and do a side by side um, of these sculpts. But that's it for the video, guys. My rating on this is a 9.5 out of 10. Awesome accessories, awesome details. Two head sculpts. Uh, hands we don't get with the original figures. <clears throat> and how many face plates? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven face plates. Three hands. Two effects. Kitten mitten, if you want to include that in a hand or accessory, increases that to three accessories or four hands. And then an additional bang piece. Just a ton of accessories for the low price point. I think these were $34.99. Um, just a, a great pickup uh, for this kit. And if you guys have it, I hope you're enjoying it. If you don't, I hope you can find one. That's it for the video, guys. See you next one. Later. Monk on the nine block where the gamers flock. Action figures and collectibles where the top stock. Marvel DC, but DBC is the main squeeze. Magic the Gathering, bringing you the ease. Card packs opening, reviews so tight. D9 dice gaming under the bright light. Nine block, the channel you gotta see. Gaming and collectibles, we're the key. So hit that subscribe, join the crew. Nine block gaming, we're coming through. Action figures, card games, we do it all on nine block channel. We stand tall.